Hello guys. Today it's gonna be tattoo talk number one. So yeah, I'm just gonna speak or I'm talk about all the things that are happening or I don't know, just things that will come out from my mind all related to tattoos. So, sit down, enjoy, and let's see, what can we discuss? Well, the tattoo I did yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, I did a leg slip, okay? I'm doing a leg slip. Uh, so, we're doing this leg slip on a girl. We already did the thigh area. Yeah. First of all, it's all black and gray realism. Now, I think the problem or the complications of doing a uh, leg sleeve are all about the flow or the design overall. Not, not really about the technique, but the design, like how putting everything together. So let's say, she wants something realistic, something towards um, angels, sculptors, Greek mythology, you know, all of the, all of that. So this would be the best approach to to do a leg slip, in my opinion. First, you talk with your client, with with the person who's gonna get the tool. And you ask them what they like, what they don't like, okay? Because she doesn't like uh, other stuff, okay? But she's okay with pretty much everything. So now that you know, like, which direction are you going, this is what I would do. I would save all the references. I would make pretty much a portfolio or I would go on Pinterest right away. I'll look for all the references and save them, okay? Like Greek or sculptors or angels, whatever. And save it as a project. Now, once you have all the references, you need to know where are you gonna put all of those images. So look, like we're really lucky that with today's technology, what I would do is either take a picture of the leg or a video and on Photoshop or the iPad do a sketch or a preview of how is it gonna look. So it gives me a rough idea of the whole project. Now the thing with working with a sleeve is that it all needs to look cohesive or look needs to look interesting cohesive like not rushed right because many problem with tattoos is that first of all they're expensive so it takes a while for someone to get a full leg sleeve or full back or whatever so that's something you need to take on mind, okay? But let's say this person wants to do a full leg sleeve, even if in the future uh, it's gonna take a while, but they really know what they want, okay? Let's, let's take that case scenario first. So if that person is pretty open to do a full leg sleeve, design the full leg sleeve right away. It's like if you're gonna do a building and you said, okay, you know what? In my building, I want 10 story building, all right? But then, uh, if you say, oh, I only want a two story building, and then you said, you know what? No, I want a four story building. And then you said, you know what? Maybe I'll do an eight story building. So now it's gonna be harder because you need to change the foundation of the building 
and reinforce the columns and all of that. Anyways, where I was going? Yeah, so if you know the whole project, design the whole project. Maybe you can switch things eventually, but it's going to give you a better idea if you design the whole thing. Now, how would you design something that wraps around? Because if you only take a picture, you can only design like area by area, like in a flat surface. So now what I do is in Procreate, there is this new add-on which allows you to import 3D objects. So I basically have like a 3D leg and I can spin it and I can play, play around with that leg, okay? So I think that's, that's my best approach. That's what we did and I think it's working really well. So you download that leg, you place the images that you already saved, and you, you, you start playing around to see what, what works, what doesn't work, the size, the contrast, all of that. And then once you have everything all placed together that you can see in a 360 degree view, you start thinking in the transitions between the tattoos. One thing is the tattoo and the other thing will be the background or the transition. What usually happens if you don't plan it, if you just put the image, let's say of a lion, whatever, and then you want, I don't know, a forest or whatever, the transition between tattoos, either you're gonna do just shading or clouds or something. Okay, because you plan one thing and then the other thing. But if you know the whole thing from the start, you can have a nice transition, like if it was just one piece, okay? And that's only achievable if you plan the whole thing. Like, of course you can have a nice tattoo, even if you don't do it like that way. But if you design the whole thing from the jump, in my opinion, is unmatchable. The quality and the intricacy and the... I don't know, it just looks better. So, for now on, that's what I would do. If they want like a, a sleeve project, I would design the whole thing. And then, you can. it's going to be on your artistic uh, experience. How you play with the transitions of tattoo some people like to do smoke some people like to do clouds some people like to do uh, like uh, lines uh, you know like white spaces or or oh no it depends on each project but that's my approach now so if you want to sleep design it on 3d that's pretty much the best option so far I found what else uh, well we work on the leg and yeah it's pretty much going back like how I plan it um, did I found did I file did I find any complications hmm. well I'm using numbing cream now Okay, I don't know if you guys have tried Nomin Creo or not, but I tried one, it's called TXTX or XTX, I don't remember, but it's good. I've tried it on me, I tried it on clients, it works really well. You need to be careful how you apply it, how you use it. It's not me saying, hey, you use it, I'm just saying what I do. I try it, it works, it has had consequences for me at the beginning because I didn't know how to use it properly so I overworked the skin in a little part but that's it it's like a little 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 part but anyways now I know what to do so that doesn't happen uh, I think it works really well 
but for that to work I would probably do the lines first like little lines or have the lines ready and then apply the cream and then do the tattoo because if you apply the cream and then put the stencil on it if you fucked up the stencil you have to wipe it out wipe it out and by you wiping it out it's gonna come off uh, the cream so it loses their strength right so yeah for large scale projects that's pretty much what I would do I would design the whole thing um, yes I would use numbing cream it, it, it looks like it works what else? Mm. Okay, let's talk about the references. I know everyone gets the reference from Pinterest. I would say 90% of tattoo artists get their inspiration or the reference from Pinterest. I know. You guys know I know that you know I know. Okay? That we know okay we all know but some people okay they do their designs whatever but now uh, with AI you can do a lot of things some people is pro AI some people is against AI I understand both ways but if you use AI as a tool it's really powerful it's like using a calculator in a math problem. You can flex everything you want, saying, oh, I solved the problem without the calculator, you know? Or you can say, well, I use the calculator and I did I did it a, a better job at, by, by the end. Like, it depends, okay? Like, it also depends, like, the style you want. I don't know, it depends in, re in a lot of things, because even if you copy images, like everyone does in realism, you can still put a little bit of your touch, your style to it. You can modify the images, like, like you do on regular images on Pinterest. Like you can do like uh, Photoshop effects, uh, uh, gradients, uh, smoke, like you can, the thing is, now you have more references to play around. If, even if you like to draw your, or, uh, your own tattoos, if you need a reference of, I don't know, a cat eating a pie, and you're like, oh, a cat eating a pie, like, okay, maybe you're really good at drawing, you will, this, you will draw it perfectly, but if you type it on AI, you can have like references of, oh, okay, now I have a, a tool, okay? Like a, a little something that gives me references, which I can just use for inspiration and I create my own. Like I'm not just gonna copy and steal it and, and tattoo it, which you can, but let's say you don't wanna do that. So just use it as a tool, as you want. There's no problem at all, I, I find. Um, so yeah, for the references, now using AI, I think I'm going to start using more AI, just so it's more refreshing to see something new, because everyone uses the same sculptors, everyone uses the same background, like, it's overused, but they are nice, it's just overused, so yeah. I think uh, creating your own AI images is it's gonna be the next thing plus the 3D so for now on possibly you're gonna be seeing me tattooing more new references and more intricate tattoos alright well that's it guys I just wanted to share my thoughts about tattoo to today, well, tonight. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.